What's up, everybody? It's Mia from Sickle Cell Awareness 365. I hope everyone has had a great start to the new year. So there is something that I really wanted to leave in 2023, but it's been kind of hard because this conversation, this topic keeps coming up in different settings, whether I'm hanging with friends or it's a business dinner, business meeting, whatever this topic keeps coming up. And it is about Saturday Night Live. I know this came out in December. Like I said, I was trying to leave it in last year, but it's still a topic that's going around. And I really have an unpopular unpopular opinion about the whole situation. Oh, my turn? Okay then, uh, how about... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe open this. This? Oh, well, okay. Congratulations. You have been enrolled in Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR Therapeutics Extra Sale Program for Sickle Cell Anemia. Is this a new treatment? It's not a treatment. It's a cure. <laughs> the FDA just approved XSL this week, but there's a two-week, two-year waiting list. And, uh, Winston, we've been working together for eight years, and I, I always hated to see you in such pain, so, um, you know, Merry Christmas. Oh, my God, Brenda, how did you do this? My wife is a big wig at CRISPR, so I had to ask. Amazing! This, this is, I don't even know what to say. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Let's go swap this out with the boogie boogie <laughs> Brenda went to great lengths. To... No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. That's how Yankee Swap works. So, yeah, now Gregory has the portable neck fan. Lana's got that peanut brittle. Casey has the hand cream. Winston has the boogie woogie Santa. And Landon has the brand new cure for sickle cell anemia. But I don't even have it's Fine. It's fine. Maybe someone in your family could use it. Yeah, my whole family's white. It's fine. Let's just move on to the next gift. Michelle, it's your turn. Well, ain't that something, Gregory? I love it. But I think I'm going to make a trade. Because, Brenda, someone in my family does have sickle cell. My mom. And it's been terrible. She's in pain all the time. She has kidney problems. And I just always wanted to make things better for her. And now after all these years, I can I can make her smile. With this boogie boogie man! Uh, Winston, I've still got the sickle cell cure right here. I guess I'll go ahead and swap it for your... Hey, look at me. I'm a little burrito. <laughs> Hold on, I feel cozy. <laughs> you know what, it's fine. He's happy it's Christmas. Let's all boogie boogie. Yeah, yeah. That's the gist of what the skit was about and our community really got up in arms about this skit and i understand why there were a lot of inaccuracies there was a lot of spewing ignorance it it was just really distasteful and could could further harm the sickle cell community we already have to fight so much for education and all of this other stuff but i get why people were upset. Let me just state the facts about what was said in the skit. First of all, there is no wait list to get this treatment. It is not a cure, it is a treatment for sickle cell disease. Let's get that clear. There is no wait list. And yes, it does have a $2 million price tag. One of those have a $2 million price tag. The other one has a $3.3 million price tag. But that is not what the patients will pay. That is what the cost of the treatment will take. Um, you know, when a patient is signed up for this, then there's insurance that will cover it, possibly grants that will cover it. That, that $2 million price tag, as now that I understand, because I was upset about that first as well, because I'm like, who has $2 million to pay for that? Just give me the cash and let me do it myself. But that price tag is what the whole treatment is worth also white people are not immune to having sickle cell disease yes this is a predominantly african-american disease but that does not mean that because you are hispanic because you are of european descent because you are of asian descent that does not mean that you cannot and you are immune to sickle cell disease sickle cell disease is a blood disease not a black disease there are probably a lot more inaccuracies in that whole skit, but let's be real, who's going to Saturday Night Live for facts on anything or accurate information on anything? It's Saturday Night Live. So here's my take on it. Like I said, I understand the uproar from the sickle cell community and them really getting angry and frustrated and sending letters and all of that. I completely understand it. However, as for me, I don't even really watch Saturday Night Live 
And if it had not been for our community sharing what happened, I wouldn't have known. Saturday Night Live is irrelevant to me, to be honest. They, they aren't even on my radar. I rarely even watch TV. So Saturday Night Live is, again, irrelevant to me. I feel like we have bigger fish, fish to fry. Like, I felt like the energy that was spewed on Saturday Night Live was wasted energy. Um, we send letters often to people, to companies, major companies and writers that talk about sickle cell and, 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 and show us in a negative light and spew ignorance. And I haven't seen any results of it. There was one with Velma and Scooby-Doo in the game that that was just pure stupid. It, it was not funny, but the joke was just stupid. The line was just stupid. It made no sense. There's been people like Jess Hilarious, D.L. Hughley, and more who have mentioned sickle cell or made fun of people with sickle cell disease. These letters, these Facebook and Twitter rants, I would love to see some something come of that but i have not maybe i'm looking in the wrong place but i haven't seen anything come of those letters and to saturday night live they've been doing inappropriate shit as longer than some of us have been born no even though we don't give them a pass for doing it they took the pass they're gonna they're gonna continue to to do ignorant stuff anyway they're gonna continue to do to make inappropriate jokes about whomever so I don't know i just felt like my energy with being angry with that was it was wasted i'd rather use that energy to fight the people that have a one-on-one -on -one, um um dealing with us like our healthcare system but let, let me fight those people let me go talk to the doctors and share the education with them let me go share my experience with them let them know how they can be supportive of us and just go that route Attacking Saturday Night Live is, I'm going to let y'all handle that because that's, that they're so irrelevant to me. Y'all know, y'all know how emotions will trigger a crisis for us. Whether it's excitement, whether we're going on a trip, whether we're going on vacation, honeymoon, married, wedding, whatever, or whether we angry, whether we pissed off at the world, whether we pissed off at family, friends, whatever. Any type of emotions would trigger a crisis. And at the end of the day, ain't nobody at NBC, ain't nobody at SNL finna come rub my back, finna come rub my legs. Ain't none of them finna go get me some water to take my meds. Ain't nobody going to the pharmacy to go get my meds. Ain't nobody taking me to the hospital, picking me up from the hospital. Again, they're irrelevant. And at this point, if I have to fight for an apology, I don't even want it. I just don't. I really wish that we as a community knew how to manage our emotions a little bit better. Um, and some people, that's not to say that all of us need, don't know how to manage our emotions, but I wish that we would understand the correlation, not just from the mental to the physical, but emotional to the physical. Actually being angry, that directly affects our liver. And y'all know sickle cell be affecting everything from the head to the toe. So to let any outside factor come in and disturb what's going on with, with us is, is counterproductive. It's really counterproductive. Like I said, we, it, it was, SNL is so irrelevant to me. So it, it just bothered me personally how a lot of people, a lot of us got upset about it. But I, I get what, why. People were upset, but again, use that energy to actually come on here and state the facts. What did SNL do wrong? What did they say wrong? Let's counter what they did. Use that momentum of the skit and Saturday Night Live to actually state the facts, to actually state the things that they were incorrect on. Again, who's really going to SNL for facts or accurate information about anything? So the only one thing I did find interesting and slightly true is that a lot of us, including myself, I'm, I'm going to say many of us, maybe not a lot, but including myself, we would have passed on the $2 million treatment as well. 
Matter of fact, I don't even want the dancing sensor. Give me the tortilla blanket, especially if it's heated. Now that part, I take. Give me the tortilla blanket, especially if it's heated. Or just give me the two million off rip. Let me, let me cure or let me treat myself based on that two million dollars. It's very sketchy with this new, these new treatments. It's it's new. There's not a lot, of, not a lot of long-term data on what the side effects long-term will be or things like that. So I find that a lot of us older ones are like, I'm good. I've been living with sickle cell this long. I got a handle on it. I'm good. I don't want to be subjected to anything else, especially as invasive as altering my DNA. So that's just my thoughts about it. I'm really sick of hearing about Saturday Night Live. Um, and I, I really was not going to talk about it, but it just keeps coming up. And the more it keeps coming up, <laughs> the more aggravating it is to me because it's not worth talking about. I don't have a, I don't have a direct relationship with anybody to say, hey, I'm not going to support you or work with you anymore because I disapprove. If that, if I had that kind of power, then that would be different. But me, Mia Robinson does not. And I'm not sure how many people in the sickle cell community have that type of power to say, hey, I don't appreciate that. If I have to work with this, I'd rather not rip up the contract, whatever it is. I understand there's also power in numbers, but again, sending these letters to them, I really feel like they'll be trashed. Um, and if they're not trash, they could possibly be used as more fuel to make fun of the make fun of us even, even more. Oh, now they Superman, put on a super a superhero cape. I don't know. You you just never know the thoughts of people writing for SNL. And the thing is, multiple people had to review the skit before it was even allowed to air to to be played out and aired. So within those multiple people in the room who reviewed it, no one had the sense enough or sympathy to say, hey, I don't think we should do this. Or, hey, maybe we should flip it and write it that way. Or, hey, this is inaccurate. At least let us put some... Didn't nobody do that because nobody cared. I really feel like nobody gave a... And they still don't, even after letters have been sent. So, like I said, it is an unpopular opinion. I know everybody is not going to agree with that, but it is what it is. I don't expect everybody to agree with everything that I'm saying. But I just had to get that off my chest because this conversation is going to keep coming up. I'd love to see someone address, someone, NBC, SNL, address us personally to have a conversation. But wishful thinking, I don't think it's going to happen. Prove me wrong, though. Let me know what y'all think, because like I said, I, I just feel like SNL is so irrelevant to the bigger cause of what this community fights for and what this community does. Nobody over there is in this community as an outsider or supporting this community. So they're so they're not even on my radar. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. You agree? Do you have your own opinion? Or are you one of the ones that really, really got upset and sat down and wrote the letter and was able to send it to someone? Did you get any results? Did you write to anyone else who have made a joke about us or anything? Have you gotten any results from sending out letters or sending out tweets or Facebook rants, whatever? Have you gotten any results? by complaining to these writers and to these people who continue to make fun of sickle cell disease. Be well. Talk to you guys later. Peace.